Yeah, I mean, it's just a dream come true. It's like, get Alan Ford in a film, uh, throw a shitload of zombies at him, and just laugh at the carnage that ensues. Um, I, I, was, I said this earlier today, I genuinely think that if there is a zombie outbreak in the East End, just go and find Alan and Michelle and stay behind them, and they'll, they'll sort it out. I mean, I think if anything did kick off, we probably wouldn't know about it, because the companies would just sort it out before lunchtime, and we wouldn't even hear it, like, oh yeah, we did that. It's alright, so I'll take care of it. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to know, um, was the part that on any of the uh, elderly cast written specifically for them? Or did you, did you want these people for the cast? Yes, uh, there, were, there was one role written specifically for a person, and that was for Alan Ford. Uh, right from the very beginning, when I thought about the pensioners, I thought, well, we've got to have their granddad. And he's got to be played by Alan Ford, and he's got to kick a shitload of zombie arse. <laughs> and if we can't get Alan Ford, then there's not really much point. Um, honestly, we could have we could have cast Alan and a bunch of non-English speaking Spaniards, and it would have still been the most cockney film in the world. <laughs> and I'm very, very grateful. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi, this is Leon from the East End. <laughs> I guess this question is about the style of zombies that you chose, um, as opposed to a Romero style zombie or a, a Boyle style zombie. I mean, what was the thinking that went on behind that sort of very, very slow, very, very shuffling type? Well, the slow zombie came about A, because they're the classic and the only real zombie. Um, B. Um, um, we did any any film with fast zombies is more like a chase out of breath, no one's really talking kind of film. We wanted people to be able to talk about the zombies. And then C, I love zombies. I felt, felt like, you know, slow zombies, you can really work on their character, you can make them a bit fun, a bit formless, but, you know, I just love working with slow zombies. It's a more character, and you feel sorry for them. And, and slow zombies are the original and, and the best. And I think they're scarier than fast zombies as well, because you just think, oh, they're really slow, that's, that's all right. And you kind of think, well, I'll just, I'll just take my time and look in the store. And then you look back, and they're, they're a bit closer, and you think, oh, I better hurry up. And then they get a bit closer, and they just keep coming. <coughs> they keep coming, and they'll get you in the end. And the key concept was the, pen, the zombies are slow, but the pensioners are slow. <laughs> that was sort of the core of the film. So. Especially Richard Bryant. <laughs> Uh, hi, uh, my name's uh, John Boone with an N, not John Boone with an M, because you've got on the credits there at the end, so. <laughs> but, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> um, but it was a really great film, so thanks for that. Um, it was just a question, uh, really, for Matthias and James. Like, uh, I was just wondering where the original idea came from, what sort of inspiration kind of behind it, and also kind of what were... <laughs> Uh, your inspirations for Tyson in terms of um, other films that you might have referred back to or um, just kind of general inspirations. It all goes back to that old VHS tape of Brain Dead. It was passed around in school. My parents weren't allowed to see it. Um, but, um, I, you know, that, I think it came from the idea of just finding a tonally fresh zombie film set in East London, you know, a gritty. I kind of wanted to make make an adventure movie. It's not a it's not just a zombie. It's it's an adventure, cockney adventure with zombies. It's on venture. That was the whole idea. And I didn't feel at the time there was anything like that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to do like a, a feel good, fun kind of zombie movie. I mean, once I'd kind of started putting the pensioners in, and I was gonna I was gonna kill off a lot more people. But once I'd set everybody up, and I thought. Can't kill these people. It's going to be the most depressing film ever made. We have loads of lovely old people. Watch them die one by one. <laughs> They're going to be killing themselves by the end of it. So I just—I mean, I don't—I don't always do this, as you'll know from, from my other work. Um, but I, I pretty much saved everyone. I just thought, fuck it. They're going to get a bus, and they'll save everyone because it's cool. <laughs> Alan, where did the inspiration come from? I think Alan was one of the inspirations. Well, there you go. For the movie. <laughs> What, what, my inspiration? You were one of the inspirations. <laughs> from him. <laughs> from all of us. Okay. Well, when I, when I got the script, I just thought, uh, what is this? Companies versus zombies? I, uh, 
<laughs> and then I read the script and I thought this is really, really funny. It's really, really funny. And all these lines, they just slip off my tongue. <laughs> it's wonderful. It's as if it could have been written for me. <laughs> and then I met James and he said, I wrote it for you. <laughs> and the business, it. the business doesn't get any better than that, does it? <laughs> Yeah, it was. I mean, I, obviously I've studied uh, Alan's performances and I'm a, I'm a huge fan of his work. He's a stalker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, have, I have a shed Come inside his head. Take him off the stage. But yeah, it's, it's just, I, I mean, I, did, I, did, I read a lot of uh, Cockney autobiographies as well to try and sort of get in that mindset of the older Cockneys because, I mean, there's different sort of slang that the younger Cockneys and the older Cockneys would have. They were talking different ways, so I tried very hard to make it authentic. You know, in our silly zombie <laughs> comedy movie. Probably did a lot more research than, than I needed to, but I just I thought it was important. So I didn't want to make fun and just put a load of caricatures in. Um, whether I succeeded or not is not to me to say, but I think I did, so there. Uh, thanks very much, yeah. I uh, really enjoyed it. My girlfriend didn't, he was a bit scared. I'm sorry we spelled your name wrong, but they spelled my wife's name wrong as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've got another movie on Monday, which is the closing night film called Tower Block, um, and I'm doing another zombie movie next year called Silent Night of the Living Dead. Um, again, I'm, I'm just choosing things by the title. It's like I don't, I don't ask about the story. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and I've got, I've got three other movies in the pipeline, which are monster movies. So I'm hoping one of them will get made at least. So lots of, lots of carnage and death in my future. Can I just ask one, one question for Mr. Ford, quickly? What would you prefer, being eaten by pigs or zombies? <laughs> <laughs> would you prefer to be eaten by pigs or zombies? Oh. <laughs> oh. What, a, what a question, what a question. <laughs> well, would I prefer to be eaten by them? Oh, God. Oh, well, pigs. <laughs> Thank you very thank, much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Moran, you've kind of touched on it. Uh, obviously, we're showing which is 100% different to the last movie we just saw. Very yeah, dark. Don't, don't expect more of the same for Tarbot. Oh, you will God. be very disappointed. No. Yes. So, you will explain what you're doing next. Alan, please tell us what you're up to. Uh, I haven't got any work at the moment, but I do have another movie opening in two weeks, which is The Sweeney, and I have a nice part in that with Ray Winston and Plan B, and I play a Mr. Fix-It sort of character. So I'm looking forward to that. Is there swearing in that as well? I don't swear at all in that one. <laughs> <laughs> but Ray does. Ray, Ray Winston does a lot of swearing, yeah. And the first. I'm developing a science fiction film and a fantasy film. This is one of those. That it's, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. That was the world premiere. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we have a package for others, which you're going to love. And